All right, so it is Saturday, June 10th, 10 a.m. PST, so you know what time it is. It's why I want time. Let's talk about another prospect here at the 2023 NHL Entry Draft, and before we get underway, I just wanted to say that it's been kind of obvious that the way we've assorted these videos and the way I'm choosing which players to talk about, etc., it's done very intentionally. I try to set it up that by the time the NHL draft comes and goes, we have a why I want video for at least the top 10 guys. Everybody that is in the top 10 most likely will have a video, and if you're a fan of a team that drafted somebody in the top 10, you could check out the why I want video that we made prior to the draft and get your opinions on that guy then. But this is a name that may just be one of those very late risers, a guy that could be a top 10 pick, and in my opinion, is probably going to be a top 10 pick. There are so many players in this year's draft, to be honest, that could be top 10 guys, but that may squeak out into the top 15, maybe even to the top 20, that it's kind of difficult to project who's going to go where, especially after that top, let's say, 5-ish. So today we're heading over to the US NTDP and talking about yet another one of these guys that is projected to being a top talent. We already talked about Will Smith, we had talked about Oliver Moore, but today's video is going over a guy that is very different from both of these players. Where Will Smith is the elite playmaker, where Oliver Moore is the absolute workhorse with an engine and offensive skills to boot, you have yourselves this player right here who is more so of a power forward with really legitimate skill, a blistering shot, and a frame that doesn't match the profile. Let's head over and talk about Ryan Leonard, a Boston College commit who is going to be playing over there next season. He is an 18-year-old forward from Amherst, Massachusetts, USA, 5'11", 181 as a right-handed center. His consolidated ranking is 8th overall. So all the outlets pull together, the average is here in the top 10. Elite Prospects has him at number 6, Daily Faceoff at 9, McKean's has him at 8, Sportsnet has him at 6, but you have other outlets like Future Considerations, they have him at number 22. Recruit has him at 14, Draft Prospects Hockey at 15, Button has him at 12, McKenzie has him at 10. So this is a guy, like all the other ones we have talked about recently, that is a bona fide top 10 talent in some scouts' eyes, and is more so of a top 15 guy in other scouts' eyes. If you want to go over the point production here, this center went out there and had 94 points in 57 games played, 51 goals and 43 assists for Leonard in the NTDP. This was also capped off by a 17 point in 7 game showcase at the World Under 18s, where he had 8 goals and 9 assists. You can see right away from the profile that Leonard scores a bunch of goals, and he had 51 of them in 57 total games, much more goals than he had assists. The scouting report goes out there and says this here, Leonard is dangerous with the puck in the offensive zone, possessing a pro-caliber shot and hands. He is incredibly deceptive, using his upper body and eyes to turn defenders' feet and sticks before walking around them or getting a shot on net. Leonard is a great facilitator as well. After making a move, he can find guys in stride in dangerous spots. As an above-average skater, Leonard can employ all of these tools off the rush too, making him even more versatile. Now, the one thing that this scouting report doesn't go out there and talks about is, as put so eloquently by Cam Robinson, Ryan Leonard's snarl. You see, the other day, Cam Robinson, the director of film scouting at Elite Prospects, posted a video highlight package of Ryan Leonard asking what does he bring to the table? Well, it's easy. Speed, skill, and snarl. Three S's right there. Ryan Leonard is a guy who is really not afraid to get physical, He's not afraid to bump off defenders on the boards. He's not afraid to go in and start digging for the puck. He's not afraid to really allow his physicality shine, despite only being 5'11". Add to the fact that his tendencies with the puck usually involve coming straight down into the zone, maybe making a move or two to get by a guy, he'll fake off a pass or he'll fake a stride to a certain side, opening up space and using that to his advantage. He's really quick, he's really speedy, and his shot is magnificent. There's a reason this guy scored so many goals with the NTDP this season, almost a goal a game player. 
When he wants to make a play, he can do so as well. He's got a really nifty skill set at his disposal, where he's able to manipulate guys, open up passing lanes, and throw the puck across. His vision is really great, and combined with Will Smith and Gabe Perot, these three made such a dominant line for the NTDP this season that just watching the development program's highlights over the year, it has been spectacular. It's beautiful, magnificent hockey. The behind-the-back plays, the backdoor tap-ins, the beautiful wrist shots. It's all great. And Ryan Leonard is a very key contributor to that top unit. Let's go out there and read the SMOT scouting report on Ryan Leonard published earlier this year and read what it has to say towards the end. The folks over at SMOT Scouting see Leonard as a winger who could provide teams with top six goal scoring production at the next level. He doesn't have that flashy tool handling kit to dance around pressure that is Ken Johnson or Mitch Marner like, but he's got tools on his tool belt to evade the pressure and create separation for himself. But, and this is where a slight concern comes in, the folks over at Smot Scouting would like to see Leonard start to come up with Plan B or Plan C strategies when he is committed to driving the puck to that front. NHL defensemen will start to pick up on Leonard's playbook, and he will need to come up with alternative strategies at a drop of a hat. In addition, they'd like to see Leonard continue his development on physicality in both the neutral zone and the defensive zone. He does like to target vulnerable attackers with the puck, but he doesn't always implement the pressure to truly make the attacker feel vulnerable. If he can work on taking away space with more assertion, he'll create more and more vulnerability. So, there are a few improvements highlighted by this article, his assertiveness and his willingness to get in there and be physical, as well as his consistency, let's just say, with always coming in with the puck, driving to the goal, and forcing a shot. That playstyle has bolstered very well for Leonard so far, especially against guys his own age, but as he gets older, playing off against bigger competition, how is that going to carry him? He's got 5'11 frame, so he's not the biggest dude in the world, but he plays a lot bigger than that. So what exactly is the ceiling there? How far can he go with this type of tool set? And how well is he going to be able to perform away from Will Smith and Gabe Perot? Honestly, the way this guy is able to move across the ice, how he's able to create plays too, I don't think Ryan Leonard is going to have too much of a problem at being a proper play driver at the next level. He's just got to get stronger, work on his speed, work on his stride, and hope that all these tools carry forward as he grows. This is what Will Scouching said on Twitter yesterday. As I've said, it's such a close range and a good draft that it wouldn't shock me nor disappoint me to see Ryan Leonard go somewhere in the top 10. I think I may have an aversion to north-south shot-first physical players in terms of overall impact, especially smaller ones. Meanwhile, you have yourselves NHL Draft Rankings' own idea on this. I don't want to spoil my ranking on Ryan Leonard, but everyone's probably expecting me to like him anyway, so here's the assessment. You rarely consider drafting that level of fight in the top 10, because these guys generally don't have the upside. When they do, though, you better reach a bit more than snooze on them. NHL Draft Ranking is insinuating that because Ryan Leonard is such a good blend of the fight, the bite, the snarl, he's able to hit guys, he's able to play physically, and the Smot Scouting article says that he's got to improve more so on that and expand more on his physical side in order to become a true monster at the next level, because he's got that offensive touch too, the heavy shot, the great playmaking, the deception, since he's such a unique blend of all these things, Ryan Leonard could very much be a top prospect in this year's draft by the time July rolls around. Sure, some outlets have him in the teens, some have him a little bit later, but all it takes is one team to see him at the world under 18s and say, yeah, that's our guy. He's more physical than Will Smith, he's got a better shot than Oliver Moore, he's more of a play driver than Gabe Perot, this should be the player we take. And it just takes one team to go out there and decide that, in order for him to go somewhere a lot higher than we had expected. And so at the end of the day, because Ryan Leonard is one of the more unique players in this year's draft, I would not be surprised to see him go somewhere in the top 10, maybe even the top, let's say, 7? Top 8? This is a guy that has such a unique skill set that if you're able to expand upon that and find the ceiling, this could be maybe a one-time 40-goal player in an NHL season with 35 to 40 assists on top of that with a big physical edge despite being only 5'11". And I don't know about you, but that kind of sounds like a player worth taking in the top 10, doesn't it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. What are your opinions on Ryan Leonard as a prospect? Where do you think he's going to go in the draft? And if you're a fan of any of these teams somewhere in the top 10, where do you stand with this player? Would you want your team to get him? 
would you want somebody else instead? Do you want any of the other NTDP guys instead? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this. Vrishra Shrolas 99. And bye.